the food we eat and the oxygen we inhale their sole purpose is to make energy in our body and to make energy they first have to be transported to their destination that is cell but how are they transported today we'll explore the transport system of our body let's first understand what are the main components of this transport system so the first important component of this transport system which acts as a carrier is blood blood is like the vehicle on which these nutrient molecules and oxygen sit and complete their journey second is the blood vessels these blood vessels are the pathway or we can say roads or highway next important component is heart so these three are the main components of transport system now if we talk about blood vessels there are two types of blood vessels one are called arteries and the other are called veins so arteries are those blood vessels which carry blood from heart to all parts of the body whereas veins are those blood vessels which carry blood from all parts of the body to the heart so both are one way roads but the traffic in both these roads run in the opposite directions now let's understand how this transportation system works for this i have made this schematic diagram in which you can see blood comes from upper parts of the body the parts which are above the heart from upper parts of the body to the first chamber of heart similarly from the parts below the heart the blood comes to the first chamber of heart heart has four chambers and the upper two chambers are called auricles and the lower two chambers are called ventricles if this is my left hand this is my left side then these two chambers will be designated as right exactly mirror image if this is my right these two chambers will be designated as left upper ones right auricle left auricle lower ones right ventricle left ventricle so the deoxygenated blood means the oxygen deficient blood which needs oxygen it comes from all parts of the body to the right auricle from right auricle this deoxygenated blood comes into the right ventricle via these paths these windows we call them as tricuspid valves these valves are closed when the blood is filled in right auricle but when the filling of blood is completed in the right auricle then these valves open and pass this deoxygenated blood into the right ventricle from right ventricle this deoxygenated blood it goes into the lungs how there is this artery now i think you can understand what are arteries and what are veins so here the blood vessels which carry blood from body parts to heart are called veins and since these are big veins these are called vena cava here when blood from right ventricle of heart is going into the lungs then it is called artery because arteries carry blood from heart to the parts of body so from heart to the part of body that is lungs the deoxygenated blood is being transported so here since this artery is connecting to the lungs 
it is named pulmonary artery here as we have already seen in previous video by simple diffusion the deoxygenated blood gets oxygen and it gives its carbon dioxide to the alveoli which is then exhaled out of nostrils and the blood gets oxygen now the blood has become oxygenated this oxygenated blood will return to the heart from lungs via a vein called pulmonary vein here this blood vessel is called vein because the blood goes from body part to heart now in left auricle oxygenated blood is filled while the blood is filling in this compartment of heart these valves will be closed once the blood is completely filled now this bicuspid valve will open and blood will come into left ventricle from left ventricle this blood will be distributed to all the parts of body via an artery called aorta aorta is the largest artery of our body so from left ventricle blood will be supplied to all parts of the body as you can see in the schematic diagram i have shown from left ventricle via aorta blood is distributed to all the parts to each and every cell of the body here i have written some examples stomach brain kidney muscles eyes ears reproductive system etc all parts of the body so this is how transportation system in human beings work here you must have seen that heart is not oxygenating the blood lungs are oxygenating the blood heart is neither distributing the blood arteries are distributing the blood so what is the function of heart heart is just pumping the blood it is contracting and relaxing contracting and relaxing when blood uh, comes into right auricle the right auricle relax when it passes the blood into right ventricle it contracts similarly this also when it passes the blood into lungs it contracts similarly all the chambers of heart only contract and relax so heart the function of heart is just pumping so heart is a pumping organ it helps in transportation but actually it is not transporting anything it is just providing that pressure so that the blood can be pushed forward i hope this video was knowledgeable for you